Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening to Financial Survival, sponsored by Discount Gold and Silver Trading. I'm Melody Cedarstrom, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. Today is July 3rd, 2009. It's Friday, and thank you for being here. And uh, we are back live, and appreciate um, appreciate your support over the past couple of weeks. And uh, I appreciate everyone who uh, uh, stood in and helped me while I was gone for a couple of weeks. 800-375-4188. That's 1-800-375-4188 for all your gold and silver coin needs. And uh, visit our website at discountgoldandsilvertrading.net. Discountgoldandsilvertrading.net. You can listen to pro- um, archives of the program and, of course, uh, articles that you can read. And, of course, if you have any questions for the program and questions regarding your gold and silver investments, give us send us an email at discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com, discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com. 1-800-375-4188 for all your gold and silver coin needs. Folks, we have the best price, best service, and we tell the truth on everything. Just working with a lady today, she made a commitment with another dealer out on the West Coast, and uh, they just flat out lie about the amount of commissions that they charge her. Told her that they were charging her 16%. And when it all came down to it, it was really 27, 28%. So they just flat out lie, and uh, that's what you get. Pretty much any other dealer out there except Discount Gold and Silver Trading, 1 800 375 4188. Markets were closed. There was a little bit of uh, electronic trading, I guess, in gold today, and uh, they, which they show it up a little bit, but all markets were closed today. And uh, we were closed today, and but we are doing this program live uh, this afternoon. We will be back Monday. The office will be open on Monday, so give us a call. And if you have any questions regarding your uh, coins or if you'd like to have your portfolio reviewed, uh, we also do that. Don't forget your IRAs. If you're looking to place some of that uh, retirement fund into a self-directed IRA, you can place gold and silver coins. You can also place platinum palladium in those uh, IRAs, so give us a call on that. Uh, the bad thing about that, it is stored in the, uh, 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 the HSBC bank, but it's better than owning paper. Give us a call, and we can help you uh, complete the forms and get you started in that direction. A lot of dealers will put proof, gold proofs in there. You don't need proof. All you need is one-ounce gold eagles, one-ounce silver eagles are the best items for your gold and silver self-directed IRA. Um, We do have Robert Chapman back from the International Forecaster. And, folks, if you'd like a copy of the International Forecaster, you can give us a call on our 800 number. And uh, we do have Bob here. He is back. Good afternoon, Bob. Good afternoon. And how are you today? (laughs) I was just rummaging around looking for a five-ounce golden eagle. Five-ounce golden eagle? I couldn't find any. Couldn't find any? Why not? Because they don't make them. I know that. (laughs) Well, I'm glad you uh, had a restful holiday. Yeah. And uh, we all need a recharge once in a while. A lot of things going on. Uh, Some very important developments. Uh, First of all, I have uh, the closes from yesterday, if you don't have them. Yes, I I have. Yeah, the Dow is up 212, S&P 234, and NASDAQ 241, so it was a pretty miserable day. <coughs> and quite frankly, it should have been off 500 Dow points, but the government was in there slinging as much money as they could at the market to try to keep it up, but they were unsuccessful. And uh, the uh, USDX, uh, bounced back up again. It was 79.66 on Thursday, down from 79.90 on Wednesday. It turned around and went right back up to 80.26 because our government was in the market and making it go up. And of course, when they drive gold and silver down, which they did yesterday, gold was down 11 in the outside market and uh, silver was off 38 cents. And the good news is gold was up in London. It was 932 something, which puts it a couple of dollars higher than what the close was in the August month. 
and I think it might even be three and a quarter higher than the spot close. So at least that's plus. The um, HUI was uh, up on Wednesday big time, down on Thursday not quite as much. Actually, you know, I keep records here, and actually uh, the share prices were a little bit higher on Thursday than they were last Friday. Interesting. And last Friday, the price of gold in August was 941, and yesterday it was 930.30. So the stocks are telling us that this thing is not going to go down, it's going to go higher again. And uh, so they've held on to a good part of their gains, which is good. What happened, uh, or do you know, with the numismatics? Uh, yeah, I do know. They've gone up. Uh, they haven't gone up in great detail. Um, but well, How about seen... since last Friday? Do you have any records there? Um, of course I do. Um, I don't have them right in front of me. Last... When do you get around to it? What was last Friday's date? Um, they've gone up a little bit. Uh, if we go to, like, back to the, the 24th of... No, uh, no, Friday. What was Friday? Between Friday and today. Were they higher today, yesterday, well, than they were the, on Friday? What the heck was Friday's date? The 26th. I was on vacation. I don't know these dates. Look, anymore. I don't look at dates. I just look at the moon. <laughs> the moon? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Lobo. Now you got me all flustered here, Robert. <laughs> well, you got to concentrate, baby. Yeah, I am, I am, I am. Anyway, dig that up later, but don't forget. Anyway, some very, very important things are happening. Number one, you probably all heard about the, I don't know, I think it's $117 million worth of gold that purportedly was stolen from the mint in Ottawa. Canada. Now, there's no way anybody uh, could have stole that. Now, one of, uh, no, two of our uh, subscribers, they had been waiting both three to four weeks. They were taking delivery from Comex. They both got bars stamped the Canadian Mint. <laughs> so, by backing into that, uh, it, it's my guess that what happened was that the Comex shorts couldn't deliver. And I think that the Canadians lent the gold to the U.S. government, who in turn lent it to Comex. That's what I think is going on. I think that's pretty good deductive reasoning. Yes, it does sound that way. Okay, another thing. And I want to I want you to listen very closely. We had a tremendous event happen. And most people are not paying any attention. Now in tomorrow's international forecaster and um, I don't know whether I got these two links under gold or whether I put them at the end of the U.S. section. But there's two CNBC programs, short. And one is with one fellow who is a professional investor. You know, he manages money and all that stuff. And the other one was with four individuals, Steve Leisman, uh, Santelli, uh, a man, I think his name is Luther, was kind of being the host that time. And a trainer named Levin. And in those two programs, they talked about the markets being raked. Not just gold and silver, everything. And people are sick and tired of it. Now this is a major, major event. 
everybody on Wall Street knows about the working or financial markets, but they won't say anything. They're afraid they get fired because their bosses are all in on it. I mean, can you imagine going on TV and working for somebody like uh, J.P. Morgan Chase and saying, oh, the markets are rigged. They come into us and run orders through, keep the market up, suppress the commodities and gold and silver, and they run the dollar up. I mean, how long do you think he'd have a job? Yeah, that's what's so good about being independent. I don't have to answer to anybody. 